Hey guys, today I am in my Hyundai Elantra Touring 2012. Um, so when I turn on my car, I have two lights that are on that are not supposed to be on, the EPS light and then the traction control light is on. Uh, you can ignore the battery, uh, parking brake, oil, and check engine light because I don't have the engine actually on. Uh, so anyway, the EPS light and the traction control light um, is on. Um, I had the issue where the coupling and the steering wheel, the some bushing to the power steering uh, broke. It's pretty common in uh, in these cars and the Elantras. Um, I think other Hyundai cars too. Um, but uh, I was able to get that uh, replaced um, or fixed uh, from the dealership uh, under warranty. So that was replaced. And I was hoping that the EPS light and the uh, traction control light would go off, but it hasn't. So here I am today trying to diagnose that. Uh, so to diagnose that, I have my X-Tool D7, uh, which I just got um, to take a look at what's the issues here. We're gonna go give that a go. We'll do automatic scan and see everything that's going on here. So we see the engine is good. Um, automatic transaxle is good. ESC is not good. Um, there's one failure there. And the EPS is one failure. And there are five failures on the TPA MS, but I'm not too worried about that. So let's see. So let's go into the ESC and let's take a look at what's going on there. Uh, so we're getting a 1260 C1260 steering angle sensor circuit signal. It's not working. Uh, let's take a look at the live data. So this has a steering angle sensor. Let's see if we can find it here. Okay. So here's the steering angle sensor here. And it's reading negative 3,276. Um, let's, let me turn the steering wheel. Let's see if I can capture that. Okay. So that's not good at all. That steering angle sensor is not detecting any change at all. Okay, so I'm going to just try this ASP calibration, see if that does anything. Um, we saw that the steering angle sensor was not working, but maybe this will get that working. I don't know. Condition on, engine on. Ignition on, engine on. Turn the steering wheel straight ahead and press OK. After ignition key off, wait for 50 seconds before next ignition key on, press OK. One. Two, three, four, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 13, 14, 15. Ignition key off, wait 50 seconds before next ignition key on. Press OK button. Let's see. Live data. Hey. Okay. My steering angle sensor is working, but I got no power steering. It's really hard to turn. Oh boy. <laughs> I hope I didn't break my car. <laughs> so steering angle sensor status is now normal. Let's try this steering angle sensor calibration. Still won't go through. Let's try Make sure the ignition switch is turned on, the engine does not start. Okay, we cleared the code. It 
it still won't say that it's not matched. Okay. Our steering's back. I can confirm that the steering angle sensor though is now looking good here. It's uh, able to get the values and that light is off. All right guys, so uh, I did some more research and reading. Um, I have good news. Uh, when I looked at the service menu, I found that um, when the ASP is calibrated, the motor is not supposed to supply steering assistance when ignition is on and engine is off. So that's actually proper behavior. So I was just scaring myself for no good reason. Uh, that's number one. The other thing to note is um, after looking through the service manual, there actually isn't any SAS alignment or calibration. So maybe this uh, X tools is just uh, trying to show things that isn't uh, doesn't exist. All right, so hopefully this has done it. I'll um I'll take this for a drive, I guess, and see how it is over the next few days. Uh, if the EPS light and the traction light comes back on, um, but right now, as it stands, uh, we cleared all the codes and we got everything working again, supposedly. Um, I'm just not too confident because I've had the codes cleared before and then this thing um, came back in the past. Well, anyway, uh, let me summarize what I did. Um, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna um, check if your uh, ASP calibration has been done. Mine wasn't. Uh, so I was able to run through that. Uh, the other thing you want to look at is the um, EPS type recognition, um, if that's set properly. If those are set properly and then you clear the codes, uh, yeah, that might actually take care of the EPS light and the, um, the traction control light being on. I'm actually sort of disappointed at the dealership, honestly, because um, I think standard procedure when you're messing with anything with a steering column is to reset the uh, the the or to recalibrate the um, ASP and and whatnot, uh, and it doesn't seem like they did that. So I don't know. Um, right now we're showing no uh, errors right now, which is good. Um, I'll s put an update video out there if uh, if this thing comes back. Otherwise, uh, thanks for watching and like and subscribe um, if you can. That would help the channel a lot. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.